Right, JP, you know by now the way we do this thing is we discuss these stocks in our show and then we implement the trades on our portfolio. Bidvest is a state that we've had. We were in it. It got kind of pushed higher. We were out of it for a while because we hit one of our sort of take profit uh, markers. We went back into it not so long ago just because it's a quality counter that keeps coming up in the context of these shows that we talk about, whether we're talking logistics or diversified industrials or whatever. So we're in the position already. It's one of our larger positions. It has done well, as I say. The sense of a catalyst in terms of the scale of the holding, I'm not sure what it is always, but it just seems to keep on rumbling going forward. But right now, as it trades at the moment at around 240 rand a share, it's done a lot of heavy lifting. Are we still hot on it? Are we still wanting to be more in Bidvest? I mean, are we at market with our investment scale position here? Or do you think there's some reason to be super overweight in the near term? I think in the near term, the share price has done a lot, as you said, if you look mm. at the graph. So I'm still happy to hold Bidvest. Whether I'll be buying more at current price prices, I don't think so. Mm. I think there could be a catalyst that could be value unlock if we do see the split, but that could be a year or more off. So uh, still comfortable with it, but I probably wouldn't be buying more at current levels. Okay, so there's nothing immediate on the horizon, and there's also the associated issues of whether the balance sheet could be a little strained and the issue price and the ADCOC transaction and so on. But we'll be holding on to this one, staying stuck in it and enjoying the fruits, hopefully, of this ongoing success story. Good. That